Tissue culture technology has found wide application in the field of cell biology. However, cultured cells require regular maintenance to stay healthy. As cells reach confluency, they must be subcultured or passaged. Failure to do so results in reduced growth and eventually cell death. In this video, we demonstrate how to maintain tissue culture cells for both adherent and suspension cell lines. Hi, I'm Ricky, here at uh, Dr. Phelan's laboratory at Molecular Pathology Laboratories Network in East Tennessee. Today, I want to show you two techniques for passaging suspension and adhering cells. To passage a plate of cells, we will want to start with a primary culture grown to confluency in a 60 millimeter petri dish or a 25 centimeter squared tissue culture flask containing 5 mils tissue culture medium. We start by removing all of the medium from the primary culture with a sterile pipette. Then we wash the adhering cell monolayer once or twice with a small volume of 37 degrees Celsius HBSS without calcium and magnesium to remove any residual fetal bovine serum that may inhibit the action of the trypsin enzyme that will add in the next step. Next, add enough warm trypsin EDTA solution to the culture so that you cover the adherent cell layer. Then you can place the plate on a 37 degrees Celsius warming tray for one to two minutes. After the incubation, tap the bottom of the plate on a flat surface to dislodge the cells. Check the culture with an inverted microscope to be sure that the cells are rounded up, which indicates that they are detached from the surface. If the cells are not sufficiently detached, return the plate to the warming tray for an additional minute or two. After looking through the scope, rinse the dish in complete medium and pipette the suspension into a 15 mil conical tube containing 2 mils of complete medium. Spin the cells down to pellet them and resuspend the pellet in complete medium. Now, add an equal volume of cell suspension to each of the fresh plates that have been appropriately labeled. Alternatively, the cells can be counted using a hemocytometer and diluted to the desired density so a specific number of cells can be added to each plate. Be sure to label every plate with the date of the subculture and the passage number. After adding the cell suspension, place 1 mil of fresh medium to each new culture. Now incubate the plates in a humidified 37 degrees Celsius 5% CO2 incubator. After you've incubated the cells overnight, add fresh medium to the plates and put them back at 37 degrees. Once the plate has grown to confluency, you can passage the plate again by repeating this procedure and continue to passage as necessary. Now we'll show you how to passage cells in suspension culture. Passaging cells